Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. So before we get into your reading, um, these messages are general so not every message is going to pertain to you on a personal level. So if you would like a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box down below. Um, yeah, let's get into your all of the energy. So first of all, when I was tapping into your energy, it made me feel very like happy well i was already happy but it made me feel like happier so if you're not in this energy already i definitely feel like this is what's coming towards you because i was picking up on like a subgroup that was kind of sad or like just bored because like nothing is really going on but like work or just like the same people or getting hit ups from like the same people that don't really interest you um but you're coming in as the angel of love and i'm getting a lot of like healthy selfishness so you could be focusing on like you know your appearance you could be working out getting your hair done getting your nails done but it really feels like you have so much love for yourself that it's like kind of overflowing and it's like you're giving love out it's like when you love yourself abundantly not only can other people see it but like you can't help but to love others so you definitely could have like some fire or water in your chart yeah, like, I'm just picking up on some really authentic energy. I don't even know how to explain it to you, for real. It's just, like, your your heart is transparent. Like, everybody can see it. Like, your intentions as well. That's interesting. I feel like even people that are not spiritual or people that are not, like, um, tapped in or high priestesses, even they can, like, see your intentions. It's like your intentions are not only pure, but like they're genuine, as well as like authentic. So you could be a healer of some sorts, but I definitely feel like you've been through some things, because like I'm picking up on two groups. Now, there is somebody that you cut off that I feel like, is this stress? <laughs> they tell me yes. Okay, I feel like, okay, you could be stressing over like what somebody else is doing that you cut off. Because, like, you kind of wanted them to chase you or you kind of wanted them to, like, you know, step the fuck up. And you're like, wait, are they talking to other people? Like, what the fuck are they doing? I don't feel like anybody wants this motherfucker but you. I'm sorry, but, like, that's the energy I'm getting. Um, I really feel like they're, they're laying low, but they are watching you. And they're, they're mad. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like this person is mad because they think that like you're slutting is what I heard. So I don't know if that's a word that y'all use or something, but they feel <laughs> they feel like you're slutting or like you're talking to someone else. Yeah, like they're side eyeing you. They're like, why the hell? Like, what is going on with you? Like, what's good with you? Like, they really. I feel like somebody wants to press you. I do feel like a masculine energy is coming in with some communication. It feels very sexual, but I also feel the energy of you getting good news from like a creative endeavor or something that you're like building on so like you could have been studying something or really focused on something and you're in like the the level of mastery and i feel like you're gonna get what you've been working for so let's get into your reading you don't need to prove anything to these people taurus is what i just heard you don't yeah <laughs> taurus let's talk real quick you don't need to prove anything to any of these motherfuckers i don't know if you're like in a new in work environment or you're doing something new or you just feel like you need to prove something to someone you don't okay let's get two cards to see what's coming towards you because i'm gonna actually use this deck and this deck to see what's coming towards you but i'm gonna be picking more cards from the other deck but this deck is like the most accurate deck that i got like, every single time I would, and this is like months ago, every single time, and this is the Energy Oracle deck, um, every single time I would pick up this deck to ask, like, what's coming towards me, it would be so freaking accurate. It's crazy. So, let's see. What's coming to Taurus? Two cards. What's coming to my Tauruses? One more. And hold on. 
sorry y'all i'm trying to like do two things at once but the energy that i'm getting is like the same thing as y'all of energy i feel like you're gonna be getting recognized for your creative endeavors or like something that you're creating or like that you have like invested a lot of energy and time into it's kind of like you're gonna get your just rewards or something i'm also picking up on the energy of like sexual energy from you so you could be like in your femi fatale energy i kind of feel like people are going to be appreciating like your beauty or they're going to be appreciating like your sex <laughs> your sexual energy and i kind of feel like it's more than one all right so let's get into what's coming towards so you what's coming towards my tauruses i feel like somebody's in their feelings i don't know if it's you or another person but i feel like somebody is in their yeah it might be yeah child and i just said this Taurus, i feel like you're breaking someone's heart but you could like you could already know this shit. You could you could be breaking their heart or like not giving them energy that's breaking their heart because they're sneaky or because you feel like they're sneaky because like they did some motherfuckery stuff to you. Yeah, you don't know what the hell is going on. I feel like okay, you know what the energy that I'm getting? I feel like you're like very suspicious over like someone else's doings or like what someone else is doing like you're like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah okay so you could be like in no communication and you don't really know like what's going on with you two and that could kind of be like stressing you out i'm also getting like some of you are indecisive on like what you want to do regarding your career and like where you want your life to go it's like what are gonna where, what are my next steps gonna be like for some of you this is like on a spectrum like I wonder what tomorrow's gonna be like or I wonder what's gonna happen when I go to this place like am I gonna be okay or like are these people gonna like me or yeah what is this maybe you're up in your head a lot yeah look says Oh, okay, I'll tell you what I'm getting in a minute. One more. One more for Taurus. Yeah. Okay, I feel like you're mirroring someone, and that's just period. Hey, Taurus, I feel like you could have either, either ghosted a situation or a person, or you left the situation, like, un unfinished because i do feel like this person feels like there's unfinished business and also you'd feel that way as well it's kind of like you i'm kind of getting the energy of like jumping to conclusions so let's say you thought that like you know somebody was being motherfuckery to you and you just thought the worst of this situation and now it's kind of like plaguing your mind a little bit but like you walked away from the situation because you you just like wasn't here for their bullshit or like this person motherfuckers you in the past and you didn't want to repeat that i do feel like this person's crying over you and what's so interesting is they regret pushing you away in multiple different ways like even when you guys were together you could have been very clingy on this person and they pushed you away because like you know i am getting like a stubborn type of like grouchy energy from them they really regret like they're reminiscing on the times when you were nurturing to them and they regret pushing you the fuck away and it's like this person is really like in their feelings because they feel like not only do they lose like you but they feel like they lost your loyalty they feel like they lost your nurturing energy um yeah i'm seeing a mother so i don't know if you're a mother or this person just views you as like the mother of their children but it's kind of giving me the energy of like somebody is really fucked up or like going crazy over their their past bad deeds or like pushing you away or making you or leading you to believe that like you weren't solid in a position that you were very solid in and i feel like you're gonna choose to either walk away from this person get a new person or just loving yourself and this person is really hurt by this from their perspective they feel like you've already moved on romantically and that's killing them even more but yeah with this missing pieces this is definitely you it's just like you know what i already know the situation's fucked up and i'm gonna think the worst and i'm gonna leave even though you wanted this person to give you like that last piece of the puzzle but they didn't they're regretting that as well okay so let's get into your person's messages <laughs> okay i just heard what you think all these niggas wanna cut for 
a lot of bloods. What you think they in a cut for? So you could be dealing with the blood. <laughs> or you could, um... <laughs> I'm sorry. That's funny as hell. Or, yeah, you just focused on, like, you know what I'm saying? Doing you and your new stuff. I daydream about our memories. I just heard often. Ooh, earth sign. So you could be dealing with another earth sign. I just heard Taurus and Virgo. It could be Capricorn as well. Look, I know I hurt you and ruined our connection even though I act aloof. So this motherfucker that motherfuckered you, they know the motherfuckery things that they did to you. All right? So this person, they're not, they're not blind to their own bullshit. I post about you on social media. On my social media. Why am I getting weird energy from this? For some of you, you have this person blocked. Air sign. You could be done with the Libra. Or a Gemini or an Aquarius. I choose them in reverse. Ooh, some of you are improving your appearance. And I was getting that energy and all of the energy. Like, you could be getting your hair done, your nails done. Um, some of you could be getting, like, some type of surgery or cosmetic surgery as well. But I also feel like this person is, yeah, it's like, I don't know what the hell you're doing, Taurus, but, like, you're very sexually attracted. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, I feel like these are all the things, like, somebody doesn't want you to know. So if you've ever sent this person, like, pictures, or if you ever send them videos, they watch that often. They don't want to let you know that, though. You have fire in your chart, or you could be like a fire sign. Yeah, little booty, but I'm still obsessed with your body. That's facts. What's this? Um, I choose them in reverse. Oh, spiritual attacks. So I feel like there's, a, yeah, there's a man that's like, this is weird. They're they're manifesting you, but the way that they're manifesting you is by like canceling out your options. I feel like this could be. Okay, this isn't going to be for all of you, but if you know you're dealing with, like, a magician, you know what I'm saying? I do feel some, some sexual, like, magic or just magic in general. It's like their intentions that they set is for you to, like, ignore your options or for your options to fall through or to, like, cancel out your options. That's weird. So, so you can be dealing with another tourist because that's very possessive. Instagram... Ooh, I feel like you don't even want me. You're a goddess to me. And look, you're really shocking your ops right now. Damn, that's pressure. Taurus, who is this person? Who the hell is this person? Look, big bitter. Again, I'm getting the energy of like you left the motherfucker or you left the person because they weren't giving you what you needed or they weren't doing, they just weren't doing the right things or they weren't doing right by you. But it's like now they want to. I want to dig you the fuck out. Talking about your character. Mad as hella. Ooh. Look, sleeping on you and gang stalking. I feel like there's multiple people talking about, like, again, your intentions or who you are. Not only this person. I kind of want to clarify this real quick. I'm going to clarify this real quick. What does this person talk about? Look, you have some Sagittarius in your chart. Or like you could be dealing with the fire sign. What is this? They talk about how you're not talking to them and like you're ending things. Okay, so you could have left. <laughs> if you left somebody on scene or you blocked them, they're pissed the hell off, all right? They're pissed. They're kind of like, how fucking dare you? Who do you think you are? Like, how do, you, how do you think that you could just, like, walk away from me? Yeah, you left this person confused and you blocked them. They're very unhappy. But they're coming back to you. It's kind of, like, giving me the energy of, like, if you get one no, they're going to, like, rest and then come back. <laughs> I also feel like this person might pop up, like, at your house while you're sleeping on, like, Sunday. Or this could even be, like, in four days. Or like this week or even like this month so maybe like from from June to July this may happen I feel like somebody wants to pop up on you 
Yeah, like they're talking about like how how you how you think that like you could just ghost them? How you think that you could just block them out of your life? It's like who the hell do you think you are? And you know what's so funny? Even though this person's mad at you, they're kind of like in awe of of how you left them. Like damn, like you really bossed up on me like that. <laughs> it's like you're shocking them as well as like irritating the fuck out of them. Yeah, your 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 name holds weight. I feel like this is talking about career as well as like this person. Like if this person has options, it's kind of like you top all of their options. I feel like they don't even view you as an option. They view you as like that's my goal. Like you know how like when you want to manifest money and like you have a goal that you want to get to, that's how this person views you. Look, I just saw 555. Five, five. So like if you're wondering like where does this pus- <laughs> pussy oh my gosh i didn't mean to say pussy where does this person put you like on on like um a spectrum you're not even on the spectrum you are the motherfucking spectrum all right some of you need to pay your cable bill but anyway um yeah it's like you don't these bitches could never tourist but you already knew that though well some of you haven't now as far as career i do feel like your name holds weight like people people like f- either flock to you or they ch- they they want you other than other people like they want how can i explain this it's like they want your sought after more than other people or like your top tier in whatever you do so i don't know what you do yeah i feel like 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 okay let's say you work at like an establishment it's like people people point to you or people automatically flock to you and it's like you're not available or if you aren't there it's like all right then i'll get like these other bitches to do it (laughs) what the fuck is this you're anyway but that's facts another thing that i'm getting i feel like there's somebody that's mad look i was just about to say this look panicking over your success and growth there's also somebody that's mad that your name holds weight and like they want to fight you i also feel like this person that you're dealing with is very aggravated to the point where they they want to fight you they, like, okay they feel very disrespected and when this person feels very disrespected again you be dealing with the blood but like when they feel very disrespected it's kind of like they want to get violent so this person could have went to jail before i'm sorry y'all but like i gotta get these damn messages yeah look i want to make this house a home i have other options i'm involved with and money coming in a lot I'm going to clarify this domestic violence because I feel like it's not only like your significant other, but I feel like it's bitches. <laughs> I feel like these bitches want to like, yeah, because you could be the truth. It's like these bitches want to like fight you. But like, I feel like you don't even know this. So they could be pussy. What is your name holds weight in domestic violence? There could be a um a cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that wants to <laughs> There could be a water sign that secretly hates you. Like that's just that on that, alright? And I don't even feel like this is like a woman. I feel like it's like all genders. Like not only male, but like females as well. It's like there's multiple different people that are in their feelings because of like your position and like how you're standing another thing that i'm getting i feel like spirit baby so i feel like your unborn children are right close to you so protect yourself all right because some of you might be like i feel like you gonna have two kids or they might like be twins is also what i'm hearing but like look at this person's face it's like damn this bitch got a trophy and like wh- why where's my trophy i feel like this person's very pissy that's why they're coming up as the queen of cups weirdos yeah but they're not they're not telling you this it could be a scorpio i also feel like somebody's getting advice from their mother on like what to do about this situation because you're not given to it and they view you as like the ten of pentacles like you're their ten of pentacles and it's kind of like this person this person is getting bad advice from everyone i feel like yeah it's like something okay i'm getting like putting a new spin on something that's old it's like these people are very triggered by like your yeah because i'm getting like the six of wands energy this is weird ass energy it's like somebody's triggered 
by like your recognition or your success for real for real like it's like it's making somebody feel very defensive it's making somebody feel like they lost something i'm getting like this person needs to even like seek out some therapy because of the success that you're coming into is something about like investments they feel like you i don't know if they feel like you took something of theirs or you're not sharing or i don't know what the hell this is it's weird okay taurus let's see four more for taurus I'm falling in love with you all over again. Yeah, this person's crazy. Because it's like, the more that you detach, the more that they want you. Child, I get... <laughs> you can be dealing with that other Taurus. I get jealous over you because I'm territorial. Yeah, you sent me to the streets, but the streets don't even want me. You're the only person that wants this motherfucker. I said this. And I would lose my mind if I lost you. All of the energy flirting and texting new other love interests. This could be you or your person. Because I was getting the energy of, like, you feel like this person is doing this. Let's see if they're doing this. Who's flirting and texting other love interests? I feel like it's you. Because, like, this person can't let you go. But it could be both of you. Page of Cups. The Tower. Some of you could have fell out with the person because someone texted their phone or because a third party entered the chat. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. It's like a message kind of like tore up a foundation. And somebody wants to reconcile. Yeah, that's facts. I feel like it's you. Because you're coming through as the Queen of Wands. So you could be talking to other love interests. But I feel like you both are. Who's talking to other love interests? It's you. It's you. Period. I also feel like when this person does get, like, hit-ups from other women... Um, or it could be other men if, like, you know, you're a man watching this. It's like they don't even care. Like, it's not that deep. They don't give a fuck about these bitches. Like, and I feel like that could bother you. 